Welcome to the Riff Raft. Hi, everybody. I'm John. I'm here with Brandon. That is me. And, and today, today we're watching the Astral Factor, also known as the Invisible Strangler. They really should have went with that one. Yeah, a little better, I think. Uh, 1984 have... public domain horror movie. So, uh, neither of us have seen it or ever even heard of it. I found it this week searching Google for public domain horror movies. Yeah, and I watched like a, I think like 30 seconds into it, and that was, I think this one might be a good one, folks. <laughs> now, uh, this is public domain, so no need to worry about syncing this one. Just push play, which presumably you've already done since you're hearing me talk, <laughs> and then just continue to watch. No need to sync to anything. Right. You still hear or will hear that three, two, one, go, but that's just uh, for our syncing purposes. Yep. If you want to, you can cheer us on as we count down three, two, one, go, and we will, we will feel that. Oh yeah. Yep. No, we we feel everything you do. <laughs> oh god. Oh, so let's get okay. Uh, don't know if we can say anything more about this movie. So, do you want to get started? Yep. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. It's like I'm listening to this movie through a can on a string. Better prisons. Yeah. One of five stars. Would not recommend prison. <laughs> yep, okay. <laughs> that looked very quantum leap. Oh, definitely. You didn't see that, did you? Not without my glasses, how could I? I must be stressed. I'm turning quantum. What are you looking at? You. Hey, what you been doing, man? It looked like you Never mind what it looked like because you didn't see anything, understand? You don't tell me what I did and didn't see. I said it looked... Shut your goddamn mouth. Those are some mighty big words for such a little boy. In fact... You best to be careful these next couple days. Oh, no. You're probably gonna fall down. Have an accident. <laughs> Super threatening. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Wait, what? Ha, <laughs> eat books! Can you imagine them filming that? They're like, all right, put your head against the wall, we're gonna throw a shoe at your head. You say one word about this, one word, and I'll kill you. You understand me? You understand me, Miller? Okay, man. Okay. How is that guy still in jail? Anything. Great question. All right. He chooses to be in jail. <laughs> oh, the 12 year old security guard's here. <laughs> Okay, That's it. I've had it with you. You're going into isolation for the next two weeks. Good God! Sands? For not keeping his cell Sands, where tiny. the hell are you? Man. Okay, what's going on here, Miller? The 
that guy presumably ran past a pair of floating keys. get his heart checked out because it is really loud. Ooh, I teleported with clothes on this time. Thank God. Roger? Hello, Mother. What are you doing here? I came back. Why aren't you at school? I came back to see you. It's a really cool Mother, gravestone. Mother, you can't be seen here. I'm throwing a very important party in there. No one must know you have a son. Well, that's why I'm here, Mother. I'm sick of having to hide. Roger. I want people to know who I am. No. That I am your son. Please. That you are my mother. I can't. You are my mother! Roger, stop it! Stop it, Roger! Hey, what the hell are you doing here? What? I said, what the hell are you Morning. doing here? Uh, can't a man I'm yell at a gravestone at oh, midnight in peace? These vandals are all the same. I know your type. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to get the police up here. I'll get the police up here. Wait, that security guard had a revolver for guarding a... No, stop. I, I mean, he keeps the zombie population down. Ah. I hope they never explain what's going on with him. He just wanders around the graveyard, killing people. Oh, no! No! I like to think this is the son of Cyclops and Jean Grey, because he has eye stuff and telekinetic powers, which essentially makes this guy Cable, which is uh, going to be my head cannon for this movie. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> he just needs to live long enough to get into the future and get that uh, cybernetic implant. <laughs> Porno, did they cut this scene from? It's got exactly the same production. Maybe it's one of those shops at the mall where you take cheesecake pictures of yourself. Oh, Jesus, Quad's finger! Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait, we've seen this scene. <laughs> They're recycling footage already. It's been 10 seconds. <laughs> Ow! 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 <laughs> <laughs> you just 
start seeing blood pooling on the ground. <laughs> She gets the astral factor. <laughs> Leave the front door wide open. Okay. Just oh, long okay. enough for strangers to get in. Yeah, you now, know. Now one's okay, but you don't want a crowd. <laughs> it's kind of like you know pouring some out for the homies. You gotta leave the door open for invisible men. Cannot advise that, folks. I... <laughs> Who do you think would win in a fight right now? Hollow Man or uh, Astral Factor? Just calling him by those names. <laughs> <laughs> Astral Factor has telekinetic powers, so I think he has the edge. He also doesn't seem that intelligent, having all of these abilities and starting off in jail. That's true. <laughs> Hollow Man was at least intelligent and knew science. That'd be a pretty even fight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're just both invisible, like wandering around the entire time <laughs> looking for each other. <laughs> And then once one of them actually does win, I mean, who can tell? <laughs> All right, public domain. <laughs> I guess you just trip on it and have to feel the face out. <laughs> He's really focusing on that light switch. Oh. Nailed it. This way she won't see me. Hello, Mother. That's a big churro. Is he also strangling a parakeet? What's that noise? Tub's full of hair. Uh, revolution. And now for a little humor. <laughs> Guy loves it. It's like an itchy top blanket. Don't you ever give up? Lieutenant Barrett. What the hell do you expect? This is Davis. Uh, I'm sorry to disturb you, Lieutenant. So why did you? We have a 187. Well, why call me? Captain Wells wants you in on it. That's You're all an I officer. Know. <laughs> I'll tell Captain Wells to shove it. I'm telling myself, Barrett, just as soon as you get your ass in high gear. Okay, okay. And pick up hold on the way. Come on, Captain, why hold? <laughs> Cool. We're gonna get an off match pairing of officers like added. That took zero time. <laughs> Man, I was really getting into this slapstick show. The plot's so deep. How will I ever catch up? He slipped on a banana peel and now his umbrella's not stopping his fall off a building? What did I miss? Ta da! You said this was your day off. Are they gonna start with milkshakes? Woman knows how to live. You haven't even had your dessert yet. I'll save it for you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Did I just have a stroke? <laughs> mm. Aren't you going to wear the boots I bought you? No. They're shit. I thought you said you I can't very well out. wear twelve inch platform heels to work. Mm. Candy just wants you to look neat, that's all. In the middle of the night, Candy. Mm-hmm. 
Ah, oh, that's middle of the night ice cream. Uh, that makes more sense. You want me to wait up for you, Teddy Bear? <laughs> no. Okay, for you. Later. Have a nice time. <laughs> does she not know what he does? Apparent strangulation, Lieutenant. Kalani appeared to be totally crushed. No doubt by a pair of large and extremely strong hands. But don't quote me on that until after the autopsy. <laughs> don't <laughs> quote me on that, I'm only the coroner. <laughs> don't forget that telephone. See if I can get out of this movie. Damn it. It's just like the front door. Everything in this place is locked on the inside. It's really funny. What's funny, Sergeant? Well, I mean, with all the windows and the doors locked from the inside. Now, Lieutenant, will you tell me how the guy got out of here? You tell me. <laughs> no, no, you're the murder detective. Get all the information from the might be still in here, but I'm busy eating oh, yeah. cookies. He's a little shook up, but I think he's in the clear. Lady's not getting any deader, but these cookies are getting staler by the second. Kevin Kingley is supposed to pick up the girl at 9 o'clock. She didn't answer the door. Her car was still in the garage. She didn't answer the phone when he called from the manager's office. He went up there and kicked in the door. He found the girl dead in the bathtub. Then he called the police. The phone in the den. Is that all right with you, Lieutenant Barrett, sir? Click, 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 click. Was the manager with him when he busted in? Oh, clicking stop. I forgot to ask. Ask. Got him. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe I put on pants for this shit. Procedure. Procedure. Hey, uh, Lieutenant, she was with him when he broke in. Married man, Mr. Kingsley? I don't think I have to answer that question. What? Listen, Lieutenant, I. I'm not trying to be evasive. I. I just. I'd like to avoid an ugly scandal if possible. It's already ugly. And I can make it a hell of a lot worse. Now tell me, are you married? <laughs> you single? Do you have I've plans been on Friday? Mr. Long, about six months. But I assure you, there's never been the slightest complications, arguments, threats, marriage. Who's that? None of those things. <laughs> One of the murder detectives' groupies. She ever mentioned anyone giving her a bad time? You Me. mean did men make advances to her? I suppose every man she encountered would like to have taken her out. You know what I mean, Mr. Kingsley. <laughs> Crazies. Oh, yeah, no, she's also horrible. They all want to kill her. I but to get obscene telephone calls from someone. Me, mostly. That stopped when she had her number changed and unlisted. Phone free. Mr. Kingsley, you can go. Don't get lost. I may need to talk to you again. Don't get lost. This is a left thumbprint we took from the bathroom doorknob. Now, this is one from the bedroom telephone. Now I just apply I some guess. science. And this is right. This is Roger Sands, left thumbprint. No wonder he doesn't like working with that guy. It's just click, 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 click. They're identical, Lieutenant. Well, Roger they... Sands was definitely in Darlene DeLong's apartment. Chewing gum and clicking away. Roger Lewis Sands, male Caucasian, age 26, 6 foot, 165 pounds. Convicted for counts of first degree murder. Sentenced to life imprisonment in the North State Institution for the criminally insane. Can turn invisible. Study this case in college. 
We call it the Celebrity Strangler. His victims were all well-known, actresses, foxes, the models, that type. In fact, his first victim was his own mother, that glamour girl of the 50s, Carlotta Sands. Now I know why I asked the captain to put you on this case, Holt. When Darlene DeLong was a key witness at the Sands trial, you made an attempt on her life. There are two others that we know of. It's all here in this file. You know, now, both of these young women in a movie called Invisible Strangler, I was really but hoping Sandra we'd have several back-to-back -back -back scenes of document reading. Sands actually got his hands on her. And I got it. Captain Well, here's the report from Warden Bowman. Thank you. Well, that confirms that Barrett Sands escaped less than 48 hours ago. Escaped to maximum security. Come on, Captain, who let him loose? Now, don't start that again. Nobody let this one out. What the hell is this supposed to mean? Escaped under <laughs> Not like all the others. <laughs> right. <laughs> we know that we've been slipping up a lot, but we're getting our stuff together, okay? <laughs> the prisoners are just so tricky. They, they tell us they're not supposed to be here. What do I do in that situation? Not believe them? I'm a good man, Captain. I became a policeman to make a difference. How's it going, Sloan? No sweat so far. What you got out there? Sergeant Archer. And Kovacs is out on the beachfront. I think we got the place pretty well covered, Lieutenant. You better know it's covered. Covered. Who's there, please? Lieutenant Barrett, I have an appointment with Mrs. Hartman. Oh, yes. She's expecting you. I didn't know yes. Poles could talk. The They're at leaving. I'd be getting out of there, too, after encountering a sentient pole. Shit got weird. Lieutenant Barrett, I believe you got a call from my office. Would you please tell me why those men are spying on me? It's David, isn't it? It'd <laughs> be great if they were just swimming in the pool. Games again. <laughs> <laughs> Your husband? Yes, my goddamned husband. Hey, say, you don't uh, look like a detective. Your husband has nothing to do with this, Mrs. Hartman. You remember a man named Roger Sands? He does have a used car uh, salesman feel. <laughs> the night before last, he killed a girl named Darlene DeLong. Oh, my God. Oh Sounds my like a poor God. name. That girl. He's out of prison. And we have four men on duty around the clock. Uh, You've noticed all good. of them. Hey, what about that other girl? She was a dancer, Roxanne. Yeah, Roxanne Raymond. Uh, we're trying to locate her now. Um, would you like a drink, Lieutenant? Yeah, it's a little early in the day for me. Not, I am on well, a I think I'm going to <laughs> work have right now. <laughs> you just took the edge off this one. Excuse me. Now she's putting on her bathers. <laughs> Stealth. <laughs> Where's your husband now, Mrs. Harmon? Try Chris. My husband? I don't know. I never know half the time. In Europe someplace, France or Spain. You see, Dave is a habitual globe trotter. He collects visas like some men collect stamps. Good beauty. Look, oh, look. Oh. You live here all alone? Yeah, except for my housekeeper. It's a real drag, you know. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I think I'm gonna buy myself a puppy. 
Oh, I did love it at first. Oh, sure did. Wait, is that a beer stein full of like hard liquor? Than <laughs> party How do you think friends? she gets through the days? Took me with him everywhere. We traveled to Europe. Not well. Lots of important, famous people like dukes and princesses. The and mornings have got to be a bitch. Ambassadors and even the queen. Not when her <laughs> stein of liquor's <laughs> waiting. Yeah, I guess I have. But I don't anymore. David now treats me like I'm just another trophy in his collection. And you know what happens to yesterday's trophies, Lieutenant? Keep them? They get dusty. You're still in love oh. with him? I guess so. I think so. I... I don't know. What were we talking about? Hard to tell after that many shots. Hello. Hold on. Right here. Hey, Lieutenant. Finally located Roxanne Raymond. She's rehearsing her new show at the West Valley Theater. <laughs> wow, is it a wild <laughs> Funny, look, right? You should... We're searching the place now. Okay, you stay on top of it until I get there. Right. Lieutenant. Hey, Lieutenant. Hey, look, how you doing with uh, Miss Galaxy? I hear she's really... Huh? Buddy, you finally got something right. <laughs> Roxine Raymond's okay. We're professionals. Oh, what a oh, great detective. Did he have to double check whether or not yeah, he believed she was attractive? Or Lieutenant, <laughs> can't you stay a while? I mean, I could, I could make us a nice seafood salad with a real special sauce, huh? Uh -huh. How about a rain check? Seafood salad. Uh... Mrs. Hartman. Watch out for your friend here. Oh. I mean, maybe it's like tuna fish salad, just mayonnaise and crap meat. Sounds pretty good. Wait, was he encouraging her to drink more? Up. I don't think down. so. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Now, darlings, let's try it again. And right this time. Take it from the top. A, B, C, Omega sign, left, right, down, up. This is the weirdest yoga class I've ever been to. I'm kind of wondering why they're... Yeah, what do you think this is for? And lights. And first act curtain. And a play? Take a break, then we'll run through the second I love how they did a zoom in on what was presumably an invisible man. Please try to pick up your cues. You know we open in three days. Well, how else are we going to see him Oh, wait. There it is. Five, six, seven, eight. They're even walking in sync. They got the rhythm. I suddenly got goosebumps. Tell me, Doctor, did uh, Sands ever discuss any of his victims with you? Yes, uh, quite freely on occasion. In one way or another, each of these young women reminds him of his mother. They were all cover girls, you know, Celebrity Magazine. Uh, in his mind, each time he kills, he actually believes he is killing her all over again. I'm afraid unless Roger Sands is stopped, he will be compelled to continue killing every woman who reminds him of his mother. Okay, I swiped right. Himself. I believe he's read every book in the prison library. Yeah, but what are these? Sands is well educated, you know, actually brilliant in some ways. He had zero books in his cells. The other... Homicidal, schizophrenic. Did he ever mention any friends? Uh... Oh, did he write letters to anybody? No, Roger Sands lived within himself. That's a basic symptom of his psychosis. His mother, not wanting to uh, know that she had a child, prevented him from developing any friendships. <laughs> you know, like you do. So a mixture of that and like sports, psychotherapy back in the day, which would just be shock therapy. How well do you yes, think psychic this phenomena. Is? It was his major It's basically Alfred Hitchcock's psycho plus invisibility. Oh, jeez. So we're all doomed. 
I'm Buckle up. simply suggesting that Roger Sands was experimenting with ESP. <laughs> For instance, I what? once found him in a total cataleptic state. He was lying on the floor of his cell, as rigid as this desk. Sure, the other guard said he was asleep, but I didn't think so. After about 20 minutes, he came out of it. Is this sleeping? The ESP Research Institute seems to think it might. They've had a team of parapsychologists studying the case since it reached us. You've no doubt heard of Darwin Van Cott. Oh, yeah, you betcha. Yeah, sure. Well, he and Dr. Ulmer, the head parapsychologist from the Institute, Spent considerable time that detective's thinking about what he's going to make for dinner. Could be in physical contact it's like he's undressing the guy in front of him. Tape the session. Would you care to hear it? You wearing some of those sock suspenders? Yeah, I know you are. Sock nerdy to me, white boy. Yes, Dr. Alma. I seriously believe this Roger Sand would be here in this room with us, and we would be unable to see him. Uh... Dr. Jacobs, could you play that again? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> I didn't yes, catch it all the first time. I seriously believe this Raja Sands could be here in this room with us, and we would be unable to see him. What do you suppose he means? It's so cryptic! I think it means that we need to commit that other guy. <laughs> oh, is that a wiener hut? Or a wiener schnitzel? I think so. Clearly this guy's hard on work. <laughs> At least he turned down drinking on the job. Yeah, okay. That's a pretty low bar, though. He was checking out the person he was trying to, you know, help take care of. Nope. Him and that damn pen. I know, right? If someone needs to get invisible strangled, it's that guy. Oh, and if they went to a lot of sands known to have regretted having a child, got in the way of her social life. A wiener she kept schnitzel. He's holding school weird. most of the time, away from her friends all of the time. Carlotta Sands, strangled like to death in the bedroom of her West Park weird. mansion six years ago by one Roger Lewis Sands. Since that time, the estate has been in the hands of the probate court. Nutritious meal and littering. Come on, guys. Pick up that damn wrapper. Sorry. All right. <laughs> oh, wait, is that. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> now walk slowly behind the car as I drive along. Yes, sir. It'd be great if he just kept punking him every time he tried opening it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps pitching hot dogs at him. Wrapped so they'll decompose. I'm an environmentalist. Uh oh. So either they were allowed to do this or they are breaking the law right now. <laughs> They're cops on the edge, man. Must kill mother. This hairbrush reminds me that I must kill mother. Oh, this dress takes me back. Stop it! It reminds me that I must kill mother. Okay, so he wasn't commu- I thought that he- that was one of his powers, communicating with her through the grave, but... Just you are my mother. This is filmed in special you memory vision. Don't you see what it'll do to us if people find out about you? Where do you get this us stuff, mother? All you've ever cared about was you. What it will do to you. You can't get any worse for me. It's like I've been invisible all my life. Huh? I just can't do it anymore. Roger, like I've had can't. enough trouble as it is. If people find out I have a son your age, it will ruin me. Then get ready to be ruined, Mother, because I'm busting this thing wide open. I wish you had never been born. 
Seems to be zero fighting back. Did he slap her unconscious? <laughs> wow. Quite a palm strike. And still visible. Well, I mean, he can't be invisible all the time. That would be really taxing on the film's budget. Yeah, but look at that. Presumably he did watch them walk in and they, he was directly in front of them. <laughs> They're also really bad and really very somebody. drunk detectives. Amazing how many brides like her get all screwed up. Wind up just another vital statistic. Let's start with a bedroom. Oh, frisky, are ya? <laughs> he does love stealing panties. Oh. That was a very hollow uh, statue. Or bust. <laughs> <laughs> they usually kept it filled with Skittles. See, that's classy. Wish I was rich, Judd. Skittle statues all over the place. As far as the eye could see. <laughs> oh man, there's that heart condition again. Good lord. He's got to be really, yeah. So this is a point in Hollow Man's favor. If you could just hear Invisible Guy. <laughs> <laughs> if there's an invisible man here, go see a cardiologist. I can hear your heart. You are actively having a heart attack. You need help. <laughs> We're not here to hurt you. We just want to get you help. Whoa! Whoa! Do you think he's invisible just throwing shit or using his telekinesis powers like <laughs> Okay, what was that guy firing at? <laughs> Maybe he took down a bus before it was thrown far enough at him like it. <laughs> <laughs> so suddenly like he's playing House of the Dead. I love the like mixture of whimsical music and like synthesizers for a uh, 70s horror. Yeah, it's really weird. If someone was in here, how the hell they get out? Get out in the car and call in a search assist. I want this whole area cordoned off. Yes, sir. Does he believe he's invisible, or is he just angry at this room? <laughs> All right, get focused. What were the panties I was looking for? <laughs> How to become invisible. <laughs> Invisibility for dummies. <laughs> There's nothing here. <laughs> oh, do you think this kill list might be valuable? You ever hear of a Colleen Hudson? Yeah, she's a socialite. Always making news of the international jet set. To find her and fast, put her under protection. She may be the next one up. Yes, sir. What about the others? Why would... It seems to be like a list of four people unchecked off. <laughs> well, you see, the three at the bottom are perfectly safe because of reasons. <laughs> on the bottom, of course he's going to go one by one, not most convenient. He's a killer. Obviously, he's very logical and reasonable. Aww. What 
is it, Prince? There's nothing there. Now you behave. It'd be great to see that German Shepherd take down an invisible man. Prince, <laughs> now down. His blood starts erupting out of holes in the air. Prince, come back here! Rabbit, you're not. Prince! He just comes back with a pair of nuts. <laughs> oh. oh! What's with the invisible men in beating animals thing? Second invisible man movie, John. Yeah, you're right. No. Still the paintbrush first, so she's disarmed. <laughs> what? what do you think of acting directly in uh, her direction this uh, actor got? <laughs> Act like you're getting beat up. <laughs> Act like there's a weird snake around your throat that you're kind of caressing and yelling at. <laughs> Act like someone threw a piece of salami on you, but you can't see it. Back. She's just accepting death. He's doing other stuff to her right now, invisibly. I think he's strangling her. That's really a point against the movie where we can't tell what's you happening. Mother. Oh, thank goodness, the dog made it. Then surely went low. <laughs> oh. No house front door on the door. house, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Joke, Jinx. <laughs> Candy? Jill! Oh, Candy wanted to surprise you. Candy sound drunk. Candy did. <laughs> Candy, how many times has this ended in me giving you a fist sandwich? Oh, Candy, I... Every time? Day. Yes. Oh. Did you call your mother? Does she not own pants? Call my mother. It's your you birthday. don't wear those on the side, John. <laughs> of course. You should call your mother. And did she Candy, just go I from, like, let's have sex birthday. to call your mom in, like, the span of ten seconds? Yeah. Uh, that's the same Candy, thing for her. Another surprise for you. <laughs> Save me. It's your dad! Come on, sit down over here and close your eyes. Three-way time! Hurry up! Are you sitting down? No, not yet. Are your eyes closed? No, 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 just... Hurry up! <laughs> okay. Ready? Ready. Ta-da! Happy birthday! That is... That's really something. You see, I told you I was good at something else. Did you make <laughs> What's the <laughs> first thing? <laughs> I assume it's the reason why she never has pants on. <laughs> Come on, blow it out. Make a wish and blow out the candle. Come on! Wish I was invisible. Yay! Cheers! <laughs> and now, Candy is going to cook you a birthday dinner. Really? Would you like? Would you like chicken and giblets? Or a fillet of sole? Uh, oh. How about uh, macaroni and cheese? 
Product placement. <laughs> Is that a new coat? Uh, yes. It's, uh, it's your birthday present to me. Uh, no, that's not how that works. Did you catch your maniac yet? No. Oh, that's too bad. Well, maybe I'll get it tomorrow. <laughs> What's that kick made out of? <laughs> Looks like it's a tire. So he had hot dogs for lunch and cake and macaroni and cheese for dinner. This man's going to die of malnutrition before he catches anyone. And there was only one candle on the top of that thing. Presumably, he's just a very advanced uh, one-year-old. <laughs> oh, good. Another night on the toilet. What's his birth sign? Shitting out chunks of a tire. You maniac. Candy, I don't know his birth sign. Oh, you don't? No. Oh. Oh, you're just terrible at your job, I see. I don't believe you. Are you for real? You want me to prove it to you, son? Ah. So you got the squeaky toy implants. <laughs> to you, not so. <laughs> what a fun character. <laughs> That's a confusing one. A lot going on as soon as he got in. <laughs> Let's have sex. Call your mom. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your tire. Thanks for my your birthday gift to me. <laughs> It's like she's goading him into beating her. God. Wait a second. I think that car spotted him. Okay, I just need to stay invisible, and I'll be perfectly fat. Dum 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 dum. Oh man, now I can't stop thinking about an invisible hey, you. car movie. <laughs> oh, what are you shit, doing back yeah. here? Yeah. Get his clothes. I'll work you. Yeah, I'm a stage. That'd be awesome. It is still close. <laughs> if such a movie exists, let us know about it in the comments. And we'll get right on it. You stay right there. So why is he just strangling people? He has so many cooler powers than just being invisible. He wants to get up and close and personal. Uh, Otherwise, and that is how he killed his mom. Uh, uh, he's got an ammo. See, this is a well-made movie. Huh? Come on. There was exactly no wait in between him using the knocker and him pounding on the door. He's just switching it up, it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> He's practicing his uh, drum solo from Moby Dick. Boom. 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 <laughs> Where's my gun? <laughs> Must be crap first. <laughs> Tire <Tired> coming back. <laughs> Okay, okay. What the hell do you want? It's you. Sorry, Lieutenant. Sammy, have you ever heard of a telephone? Yeah. Calling for two hours, your damn line's been busy. Okay, well, what is it? I'm Colleen Hudson. In the morgue. Strangle. Yeah, Evergreen Park. Same MO, no witnesses, no apparent motive. The body's covered with jewelry. Any evidence? Yeah, she had a guard dog with her. Dog was clubbed to death. Roger Sands prints all over the club. Look, the captain's pretty uptight, Lieutenant. He told me to tell you to Russo and Harris for checking out the other girl. That one, huh? He also told me to tell you to get your, uh, get your damn phone fixed. What'd you just say to me? Hey, you said it. I didn't. Want some coffee? No thanks. You mind if I just flake out? There's been some sort of crime here. I hope he steals or puts on that jacket. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. Wait. Here it comes. Do it. Do it. Weirdest wait. dog I ever saw. <laughs> wait, what? I guess the jacket was just not in the right place on his friend's report. Make us some coffee. There's a lot of ass in this movie. Yeah, there is. I'm counting, Candy. What do you think the countdown I'm ends with? Ten. <laughs> well, he's starting at 10, so I assume it ends at 10. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> Just thought I'd come over and take a nap. Rosy cheeks. Is he still just smacking himself in the face to the drawer? <laughs> what? And fixed. No, I. I drunk. <laughs> Why does this scene exist? I don't know. It was kind of cool to think about him putting his shirt into his gun holster. <laughs> In case he needs to quickly put a shirt on. <laughs> I want you inside the apartment with her. Stick yeah, I'm not going to do day. that. If she gets to the theater, you eat with her, you ride with her, you take a bath with her if necessary. Okay, what? cool. No, cool. Sold me. <laughs> wow, what a place. Hey, if Roxanne Raymond gets hinky on you, the teller will take her into protective custody. If you need me, I'll be at the ESP Research Institute. Yes, sir. <laughs> ESP Research Institute. <laughs> Oh, did you hear that for the first time? Yeah, it's like, I'm going to the science lab. <laughs> I'm going to learning school. So how does one go from this to Cyclops Jean Grey hybrid? Well, I think you have to go into the future first. Lieutenant, we just here at the, the Institute, technology. we investigate mysterious phenomena. Mm. We don't create it. Okay. Okay. What did uh, your psychic Van Cott mean when he said Roger Sands could be in the same room with you and you wouldn't be able to see him? I don't know what he meant. Well, he must have some theory about all this. Yes, that's just what it is, theory. Some form of astral projection. Oh, definitely. That's called strangle kinesis. Body travel, Lieutenant. Telestrangling? 
And from a distance, based on his logic, I think so. Yes, Telemann flows for some reason. Persons he knows. <laughs> distance seems to be no barrier. A great number of cases that are thoroughly documented. Did you say on this Canada group. weird? Canada. We know, the astral traveler's real body always remains the place of departure. But who is to say that Roger Sands hasn't gone a step beyond? Cut the silver cord, perhaps. No, no, I can write fiction, dimension. too. You really think that's possible, don't you? Well, after 12 years with the Institute, I'm convinced that if the will of the human mind is strong enough... All right, you want it the rough way, do you? I can play that game. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you for your time, Dr. Elmer. Not at all, and feel free to call me at any time. Uh, <laughs> I love how he still tried to figure out what that Only means. A of people on the force know the details of this case. I mean, people can hide behind so desks, far, we've been able to keep you know, curtains, out of the news. <laughs> any number but, of uh, things. The media should get wind of your theory, and <sighs> well, they'd make us look what? like a three-ring circus. Oh, know? suddenly got very yellow. I did. So, so this guy could just be anywhere, murdering. <laughs> Yes. He could be working from home. Yeah. What you got, Russo? Leading the other girl, Bambi Greer. She's an actress, big deal in the late 60s. I mean, she's living at the marina. A dolphin apartments, but she's not home. Did you alert the department down there? And the harbor patrol. Okay, she's your baby. Get down there and find her. Right. And let me know as soon as you do. You bet. He needs crutches. Uh. Nah, I don't think so, you fruit. <laughs> I tried flying once, jumped off of the building, but it went to the south. That's why I use these canes now. Ooh, that guy in the bitch had dreamy eyes for Mr. Perm. <laughs> Mr. Perm. I like it. Go! <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, the circuses are so much cooler. Don't lie to me. Tell me where have you been? So wait, so is he proposing like tangible astro pro projection? Yeah, good call. And I shivered the whole night through. Back too far, a little further. Branches. Pretty nice picking. Thanks. I'm better at the piano, but then I should be. I started playing. That was the shot that old. they kept. You know, when your parents are Norwegian and German, there's got to be music in the house. Hey, I'm glad you came by. It's damn lonely around here sometimes. What do you think the function of those belt like buckles now. attached to her are? <laughs> yeah, These snorkeling, so potentially to weigh her down to her no, death. No, I didn't think it was. <laughs> Too early in the day for you, I suppose. Yeah, right. Uh. What? My men out front told me you've been giving them a hard time. That guy is a million percent not Guess playing that. Check that out! You know when I get too lonely or... Nirvana played this song at their unplugged set. I usually take a ride up the coast, yeah. the top down. Have lunch in Santa Barbara, dinner in Carmel. Nice. I forget who this is by. Alone? Yes, unfortunately alone, Lieutenant. Drive kind of helps me get my head straight. You know, sometimes 
Sometimes I drive up into the mountains, forest country. Then why are you still strumming? Trees. Have you ever taken a pine needle and kind of bit in it and then smelled it? Wow. Reminds me of home. But those idiots out there won't let me go any place. Not even down to my own beach. It's uh, gonna get worse before it gets better. Look at those sleeves. I've, I've got to take you into protective custody. Like hell you will. I've had about all the confinement I can take, Charlie. Just trying to keep you from getting yourself killed. Well, if you think I'm going to sweat it out in some stinking little room while you and your guys chase that nut, you're out of your mind. Listen. Good talk. I just found out that uh, we're not well, doing I'm some off. ordinary... Well, I'm off. get murdered. I mean, this uh, Roger Sands, he's a... Uh, he's elusive as hell. And until I know more about him, I need all the cooperation I can get. Well, I'm going to stay right here. And if you don't like it, you know where you can go. And you might just as well take those bastards out there with you. I want you all off my property. Do you Touch understand that? Do you? All right, I, I, I'll give you a choice. Either you come with me, or you stay locked in this house until I say it's okay. You can take your choice and shove it, okay? Uh -huh. Stop drinking that crap and grow up. Now, where do you get off telling me how to live my life? That's the way it's going to be, Mrs. Harvin. Or I'll get a court order and haul your ass in. You decided you're only allowed to stay in your room now. <laughs> get the hell out of this house. Get the hell out of this house and leave me alone. Get the hell out of this house! <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. We're police, we're gonna stay. And if you wanna die, unless your window painting. Told you it was wild, didn't I? You told me. Is that our girl? Yeah. See, the witches are trying to catch her, and then she's supposed to be sacrificed for that big demon guy up there. Got anybody up there? Bet you sweet ass. Yes, wanting sir. Freedom? <laughs> How many stagehands? Uh, there's six, and I got I got someone watching every one of them. I love how I said, while well, you're, why are you drinking that crap while he goes home to like town to sing on our front? Fifty cent beers. <laughs> He's a man with standards and taste. Good thing they practiced this. Is this the Caligula celebration? <laughs> what I miss? Oh, you know, weird stuff. BDSM Satan. You can just say Satan, got it. <laughs> Satan wears a, a bondage harness. Oh, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> you didn't say bondage harness, Satan. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, tough guy. <laughs> Don't make me get my harness on and break this uh, isolation. We have not seen the murderer for a while. Now, I, I appreciate that he is invisible, but... 
was upright. Oh wait, he ran over that guy. Cop car. Right. Well, at least pin clicker was uh, replaced with a pencil. Yeah, that's not cool. You think he's trying to click the pencil still? <laughs> Just gouging his thumb bloody. Come to the door! Getting off hair when it's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. <laughs> Did they all need to be backstage to be observing it? Oh, there. Oh, wow. Well attended. <laughs> this does look like a fun scene. Bambi? I want you to tell me what the hell you're mixed up with. I told you. I'm not mixed up in anything. Then why is the Harbor Patrol sitting out there on the deck of my yacht? Oh, no! Yeah, okay! Oh, really? Oh? I don't know. I ought to hurt my head examine fooling around with a girl like you. Now that's acting. Right, that... So <laughs> I'm the one they're worried about. Or, well, why it was for... I mean, it was a cool premise, but... Well, I don't know. Yeah. That other choke scene lasted so much know. longer. So oh, help me, Bambi. It's like he immediately exploded her neck. Stopping some <laughs> goddamn dirty mess. I see that you never work in another picture the rest of your life. Big man. She's alive, and I just ruined that perfect play. Possible. How could he get into a perfectly locked theater? Doctor, here with your music, is stupid music. Again, if you're invisible and able to project yourself, I don't... Like... Why like, are you even looking for that guy? You're not gonna catch him. <laughs> it turned on this music to keep the killer away, as it would repel any person. But the killer's inhuman, John. Not gonna work. He loves this music. He's a monster. They didn't tell him? <laughs> Just like, hey, we're locking you down in this boat for a while. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ooh. At least not going to do anything about that. There's a guy sitting on the patio looking in. He's the real monster. He's a <laughs> He's got little fishy decals on his sliding glass door. I radioed oh. the dock message before I put in the call for you. Harbor police over there should be aboard with her by now. I guess she's about as safe out on a yacht like that. Going there. lights and sirens to right, something. You know, I was going to joke around that they uh, just have no idea how to write women, but I think they just have no idea how to write people. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, the, none of these characters are believable. Yeah. Ah, oh, life's good. Man, police with his shotgun. Uh, it looked like an M16, I believe. Oh, okay. Still weird for a police officer to be chilling out with one of those. <laughs> Jeez, is that the vis visible strangler, John? Does the invisible <laughs> one have some competition now? Oh, man, things are really heating up in wherever this is. Who are you? What do you want? Oh. 
So wait, the killer went to the trouble of finding a scuba suit and a tank instead of just astrally projecting himself onto that boat? I, I believe so. The thing with, like, astral projection, you could still, like, swim if that was the, you know, the problem. <laughs> uh, you could just float over there and strangle. <laughs> the old float and strangle. Or he just really hates this one and wants to harpoon the <laughs> He, You know, he just got the harpoon gun and he really wants to get some use out of it. His friends told him, Joe, you're never going to use a harpoon gun. He was like, like oh, I do it all the time. I love fishing. Joe. Hey! <laughs> oh, oh. Well, that was a strange way spinal to die. Spinal to the spinal cord. <laughs> Can't. It's more gratifying for him to strangle in person, and it, these circumstances allowed it to happen. Oh. I, have, I have no idea. Better it's a red herring, and this is like another strangler. <laughs> I think your first idea is probably more more likely to be right. The only reason I'm thinking of the second one is because you haven't seen his face like at all. Yeah. Nope. This is definitely not the same guy. Look at how long this is taking. Versus... <laughs> this guy's an amateur strangler at best. Batman? <laughs> Batman, are you there? Well, at least I can turn the music off now. No. So close. God, that music with the soundtrack music over it is just terrible. Yeah, what? How's everyone doing? Thank you. Goodbye, fish door. <laughs> guys, I think she's dead. Wait, what? This guy can turn not. invisible. Why the hell hasn't he? able to control cars too and <laughs> see ya <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, this would be a perfect movie and redeem itself if you just flip the bird and <laughs> suck it coppers oh I thought he stole their boat for a second oh god Buckle up for a high-speed boat pursuit. Ooh. I mean, we've seen some cool ones before, but... We're not going to yeah. in this movie. Or if it's like this, and not just the internal view of the person driving. <laughs> Stock footage! Cameraman was doing his very best to keep the boats both on screen. Oh, here. 
<laughs> Boat faster. Is it hot enough to kill a man? No, but it shows what is what has happened to the, How about the fence? <laughs> different picture? Camera, I believe. Alarm up in the house. <laughs> mm -hmm. This was shot Bro, by the same guy who did the Zapruder film. Shot. Oh, geez, slow down, slow down, slow down. Perfect oh. landing. Yeah, well, that's going to be a pain that. to get no out. Problems yet. Luckily, well, I don't care. Whoop, 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 whoop. It was the end of the time trying to make it up. Oh, this way. God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Sloan, go ahead. Utility squad is here. You check their IDs. They're okay. Let them in. Lock the gate behind. He's got them. like a limited invisibility right, charge. <laughs> it has a really long cooldown. He invisible yeah, out of his pants. Oh God. He used to be able to go invisible with clothes on before. This seems like a weird move. <laughs> <laughs> and he went invisible when he had his clothes on. So, theoretically, he went invisible and then stripped naked. I'm not so sure we shouldn't get that girl out of here. That or went in Europe or or somewhere. Oh, wow, well, yeah. All about. <laughs> I don't know, that wouldn't stop Sam from killing it. It's not Christina Hartman. It'll be some other lady. How's Holt working out? Jeez. Uh, not as bad as I thought. But uh, he's not as good as he thinks he is. Hell, you know, I'll probably be working for him five years from now. <laughs> okay, Chuck, you got the ball. Try it. Let's hide into the 220 circuit in the U. So we don't need to worry about it. Is that enough? <laughs> more than enough the way we're wiring it. But he's got to make contact with the metal hand railing, Lieutenant. Why don't you just wire the steps? What? You have to cover them all with metal plates. Oh, it's pretty hard what? to hide. What? I think right, he said utility squad, squad which, hands which is strange, because that's not a phrase. Okay. okay. Remember, if you see anything unusual or hear anything unusual... That I'm was the first right. red flag. They must have been sent from the science university. <laughs> I didn't tell him nothing. Is that an option the police can do to civilians? <laughs> We're flying you to Europe for some reason. <laughs> Seem like a pretty good, like, invisible man approach. Semi automatic rifles. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Listen, it's almost dark. Set that Call thing Archer. to burst I want to take over your spray. station. I want you here inside. Okay, Lieutenant. On the or how about flamethrowers? <laughs> Holt. Sergeant Holt. What? Yes, sir. Fuck you. That and unless Take the person was barefoot, I'm going right? <laughs> yeah. No, oh, that's not bad. That's all right. Don't know how that was achieved. Unless there was some guy just squatting and kind of waddling along in the grass. If that was the case, you could just put a dog on one end and have a treat on the other. Oh, that would the audio. <laughs> oh no, he's clicking the pen now. He caught it. <laughs> pen tinnitus. Whoa. I told you to stay in your room with the doors locked. When will you stop treating me like a child? I know what I'm doing, okay? Yeah, you sure do. Is I it? Have some already. <laughs> yes, sir. Ward <laughs> Lou, It looks like it's and full day. Be totally smashed. Good day Good drinking, help. John. Like, like hell, you will. You are. Ah! Ward 
Listen, Chris, just try to lay off that damn stuff. Can't drink any water, sir. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> you signed I on to protect and sorry. serve. Pound it. I guess I'm. I'm just a little. Yeah. Scared, Lieutenant. Scared. That's your killer right there. Okay. This movie just got scary. Okay. I was hoping he'd accidentally touch the handrail. <laughs> Did you reach your that guy Is he the just best chilling thing? out no. underneath it? But okay. <laughs> The safest tactical spot in any room is under a table, back in a corner with several chairs around you. Do you think if I tried to be more like the girl he found in Green Valley, I could get him back? You know, a simple country girl in blue jeans and pigtails? <laughs> That's what you're worried about? Be I'm great if she got strangled the right there. It's worth a try. I hope so, because if that's what it takes, I'm sure going to do it. Yeah. And then I'm going to take that son of a bitch Man, for he took everything that slap he's well. got. <laughs> when I get through with him, All that morning slapping practice like he does on himself. <laughs> he's immune. Yeah, Archie, what is it? Sergeant Davis is here. Uh, tell her to come upstairs uh, through the patio entrance. Is he wearing some sort of daytime robe? Did he just come like coming a smoker's jacket, but he's an officer. <laughs> or he just came from karate <laughs> practice? <laughs> That's his gi. <key. laughs> Understand? Okay, Charlie. You too, Junior. Ah, uh, uh, you too, Junior. You too, Junior. Deep. Hey, what? To. I already had this plan of fucking him over. Well, financially. <laughs> so he's just. He's invisible. No one can see him, and yet he's still choosing to run through these bushes. Right, point for Hollow Man. Invisible and smart. <laughs> I still want to know what this parrot's, like, hearing. <laughs> that is just super smart. Oh, I thought she was sucking her thumb for a second. <laughs> Telephone bird tennis is distracting. <laughs> Where am I? Right, under a piano. No 
It's so weird that the killer's not showing up with all these armed guys ready to kill him around. Well, boss, we've been drinking for 14 hours straight. Maybe we could take a break? could have done that. The guy who did the score for this movie just... No. <laughs> so bad. I mean, they get it right for a little oh. while. And... Wait, presumably Invisible Guy was inside already, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh a bird just... Russo, running. pull that switch. Get Archer in here and uh, put in a call for an ambulance. Does she have a gun? She does, I'm about to say, weapon out. <laughs> Another dead owl. Are you sure, boss? <laughs> Whoa, what? Now my patented move of spray and pray. Huh. Alright, just stand by on the patio. Hold upstairs with Chris and don't touch that railing. Come on! been some sort of warning that wouldn't give this away, like, we're going live, or... Didn't I get shot? Right. right. Oh, well, don't need to worry about him now. Presumably, this guy just saw a floating uh, pitchfork come straight to his abdomen. <laughs> hey, 
better he got his invisible shoe throwing powers back. <laughs> Deadly. Just the wind. You know, it's going to be really anticlimactic if they catch this guy because he put his hand on an electrified railing. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> they just pepper him with bullets just to make sure. <laughs> you can tell where he is because blood comes out. Bring her out. He's staring us in the face this whole time. It's weak as bullets. Roger? Surely after the second act, the third's gonna pick up. Roger? <laughs> Roger, is that you? Man, when I grow up, I wanna be something good. Yes, Mother. I've come back. <laughs> to see you. I am your son. You can't hide me anymore. And I want everyone to know that you are my mother. SD on that guard at the beginning. <laughs> Electric railing. Boo. That was a mixture of the two, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, I guess. I just want to strangle you to death. <laughs> Wait, that counts. Never mind, don't listen to me. No! <laughs> Off no! to the Phantom Zone. Safe now? <laughs> I would be terrified for the rest of my life. Seriously? Sure he's just not invisible again? Well... Well, there's really no way no. to know. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. not believe the day I had at work. Smash to credits.
She hasn't worn anything covering her legs this entire movie. That's true. I think this is the fourth scene we've seen her in. First one, shirt, no pants. Second one, fur coat, no pants. Third one, uh, again, shirt, no pants. And this scene, shirt, no pants. Did you kill lots of invisible crooks today? You know, babe. Well, the electric railing really did most of the work. Wait. Ow, 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 mm, ow. God, quit it. It's my ear. <laughs> she was the real monster this entire time. <laughs> wow. I. What? <laughs> Big scene was, or the climax was him just shooting some guy invisibly. <laughs> just opening fire on a room full of people he needed to protect. Oh, no, I meant like the invisible guy's plan. Was like, he, just, uh, he snuck in there early, he just waited around, uh, <laughs> shot some people, stabbed another guy. And then, like, as multiple people had guns pointing at him, screamed his location on the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, that was a real stinker. Ooh. Any redeeming qualities about that movie at all you can think the of? strangling on the stage was close to being oh, semi-redeeming. Yeah. The premise there was acceptable <laughs> and I do like the fact that the uh, they left it up in the air whether or not he had to get nude every time he would no he didn't <laughs> <laughs> they seem to go back and forth on that <laughs> for a second I, you had that in my brain like with the scuba gear and I was wondering I was like, oh you know I still gotta breathe so I gotta put the scuba gear on and then when I you know flee I just gotta get nude real quick or <laughs> I have no idea why that gear was lying on the beach after he fleed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also kind of like at the end, um, I don't think it was a good like filmmaking decision. I think it was just stupid and funny how he just, apropos of nothing and for no reason at all, vanished into the Phantom Zone. That was, I mean, there was, yeah. Like, his body was there. We knew that he had, like, psychic powers, but I don't think that that means that you get, when you die, you're, like, <laughs> flung into space as a ball of energy. <laughs> well, I mean, isn't that what happens to all of us when we die? <laughs> but again, I would be terrified for the rest of my life not knowing <laughs> if yeah. he was alive or dead at the oh, end yeah. of that. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, we, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like, share with your friends, leave us comments below. Uh, let us know if you know about a movie where the antagonist is an invisible car, and we will watch the shit out of that. We will. That might become our new favorite movie. And if that <laughs> isn't a thing, please give us some credit if you end up making it. We'll try to do it before you, but... <laughs> <laughs> and don't tell us Die Another Day, because we already know that movie, and... Mm, no. Mm, mm, no. Bad, bad audience. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll catch you next time on the Riff Raff. Bye, guys. Bye.